Welcome back to Taco Bowler Gaming. My name is Taco Bowler. Let's continue our run playing as the Union. Uh, and uh, frustrated that there doesn't seem to be that great of a change <laughs> from uh, the start of the war to what we're seeing right now. So, um, I actually do have some more volunteers. I don't really want to uh, do, you know, everything, but uh, maybe. Uh, let's... Trying to figure out if I want to recruit everything in there or keep some for some reinforcements. Uh, there'll be more that come in. There'll be some more. Oh, I thought that was it. That is it. do even more of this. Alright. Um, so now it's in cores. And we're only in three units now. Yeah. So we don't really need to worry about this. So we have Army Western Theater. Central Theater. Eastern Theater. And we'll just separate everything in. Ah, heck, we'll do uh, North Eastern Theater. kind of anticipating that we'll wind up with something in uh, New York or, or Pennsylvania in a department of Pennsylvania at some point. I am noticing that it seems to be recruiting first close by, which I like. And kind of moving out from there. That is notable when hitting that button for things like uh, artillery in the future. Oh no, Wisconsin. Wisconsin goes over here. How do I get that to go? I'm not sure how to get that to go, because it won't let me scroll. Hmm. I think we just push up until we can get it. There we go. There we go, finally. Okay. And we have uh, quite a few volunteers, as was expected. New York. Maine, New York, West Virginia, a full brigade from the Indian Territory. Really? That is new. 
My goodness. Okay. Oh yeah, well, what to do with this? Um, first things first. Um, the Department of the West, this guy can just go straight on over. That's perfectly fine. Probably can just go ahead and put the cores in their various places. I think we'll be okay. Actually, no, this was the Pennsylvania. there, and I'm going to take Grant out over here. And cancel. Move over to boot camp. And we're actually going to replace Grant with you'll do. And we're going to put Grant right there. And this is the new department of Pennsylvania. And that'll be that. So here we'll have the army of Pennsylvania, and I'm going to have this be the army of New Jersey. And uh, let's see how many we actually have here. going to need some cannon. So, ah, District of Columbia can produce two for you. Works for me. And what's the last one? Uh, straight out of Pennsylvania? Straight out of Pennsylvania. Okay. So, the Army of New Jersey will, will move. Department of the East, we have the Army of New York, we have the Army of Vermont. Uh, the Army of... Do you like the Hudson or something? Maine! We'll do the Maine. We actually have quite a few regiments from Maine. And again, we're just going to see how many we have. First off. Not very. Not very many at all. Because we put the wrong group in. Well, that's lovely. All right, well, we'll just switch this up. Maine. You go over there. 
you're going to become the Army of New Jersey. And, uh, well, before we, we switch that, take the uh, cannons that we had. You run right over there. Okay. Let's start with Department of the East. That'll be okay. And, uh, Maine can't field one, so New York can field some, but no. They have enough reinforcements they're going to need to be producing. The one thing about recruiting all these new divisions is just the sheer amount of reinforcements we're going to have to be dealing with. Not overly excited about how slow the reinforcements are going to be coming, but hopefully we'll be okay, and if nothing else, we'll, we'll make it work with some other possibilities. Now, back to Pennsylvania. What do I do with this? I think what I'm going to do is this. this work. They're almost all back, uh, which is good. Grant now has uh, 40,000 men in the Department of Pennsylvania. Moop Moop still has 80,000 in uh, the Department of the East. I like that. All right, let's see what we can do in the Department of Ohio, where you have 81,000. Again, we're just going to uh, organize these and see how many things we have. We have that many. I think this will work out beautifully. All right, um, Tennessee is a thing. Not gonna do that if I can avoid it, though. Indiana can produce one. I don't think there's a button I can just hit to immediately move over. And we'll produce the last two out of Kentucky. Thank you. And we need to rename this to say the Army of Kentucky. All right, and finally, over here to the Department of the West, we're actually going to have a fair few different things here because uh, we're trying to keep these these armies out here smaller. You've already seen some of the problems that we've had in supply. And as a result, uh, we may not have that. I'm going to actually just put these direct with me. I think that'll be be fine. That'll be perfectly fine. Uh, Indian Territory can can do that. And um, Illinois, even though I know that a lot of the actual units are from Illinois. And then, um, New Mexico Territory. That's fine. We'll do it that way. Good! And that will swell our army substantially. Uh, Western Theater needs renamed. 
Well, let's call it the Army of California. Yeah, Oklahoma. Even though it's not a thing yet. Now, let's get the Army of Oklahoma to move. Even though it's winter. Even though it's winter. I want these new armies to be out of there. Actually, the Army of Kentucky can stay... They can stay put in Columbus. That's fine. The Army of Maine... Um... We have a supply depot here. We do. Can you please move to Grafton? And then the Army of New Jersey. I'm going to put you right with the Army of Pennsylvania. Meanwhile, the actual Department of Pennsylvania. You also need to be up in this general vicinity. Now, our, uh, we've taken a few bonds. And we're at B+. Plus. I do think that's probably the last real units I'll recruit recruit. We'll see if uh, anything changes on that front. I am going to reissue this order. Let's see if that helps them to actually move. Now it looks like they're, uh, they're engaged in combat. I, I want you to retreat. Please, please retreat. Because you you are not ready for combat. Trust me. You see the the large amount of hours necessary to figure out what they're going to be doing. The Confederates have instituted the draft. All right. Actually. We might win it. So I don't know if I've hit the retreat. What's going on with it? We might wind up winning that. Okay, we don't need Diplomacy 2 or anything crazy like that. So, my question is what to do here. Do we... Institute the draft ourselves? I've never gotten far enough into a game where the draft got instituted. Let's get Breadbasket 1 going first. It is about April usually when things matter, things start to change uh, out of winter. There's no real combat action happening in the siege anymore. Yeah, our chance of victory has gone down from 72 to 70, though, so it's still, you know, still up higher than, than not. Oh, a mill. Okay. There is a new Confederate army that is invading the Army of West Tennessee. Is where? Oh, it's over here. 
The last time I saw them, they were not invading. Uh, we, we definitely have that contained. But we'll, we'll take a look at it. Down to a 68% chance of victory. Our readiness is so low, there's no way I can take it take control of that in any way, shape, or form. Let me look at my new fleet. It is ready. We are intact. Solid. I would like you to blockade, and if you can, just kind of sit right there. And hopefully that will begin to blockade the Louisiana area. There's no real way in the winter that I can move to aid them in any way, shape, or form, so... Yeah. 34,000 men have been recruited in 30 brigades. Here's what it is. Is what it is. Can we improve our credit rating through the decision? Through project, can we do that yet? Because I'm pretty sure that is a thing we can do. It is a thing we can do. Uh, we are still 1.6 million short of doing that. Okay. So, the next thing we can look at is uh, trying to figure anything of this out. We have a lot we can do here. One thing we could do would be recruitment offices again. Alternatively, we could do repeating rifles. Uh, I want to do that with ammunition. We'd be doing some rebuilt ironclads. That's not a bad idea. Sharps rifles. Ironclad monitors are the the small ships. They ha they have that that little uh, rotating thing up top. But right now, that supply cost might be a thing. I'm gonna get rebuilt ironclads though, and uh, we'll do. Uh, recruitment offices as well. And I'm going to subsidize industry, railroad construction. Got all of that. I love it. And this is still at 11%. Confederate recruits are offered bounties. They're they're trying to get numbers up because they are seeing this disparity going like crazy, and so that's there. I'm not sure why I got the ironclads because at a B plus credit rating, um, probably won't build that many. <laughs> French invasion of Mexico. The year the French will invade Mexico on March 6th. This happened in real life, uh, 1862. They will be defeated on May 5th in a very important battle and situation. All right. What ships got constructed? This should have been all of the, the frigates. So let's go military. Fleets. Yep, the frigates have been completed. Um, can I put them in Washington, D.C.? Nope.
No, we cannot. We need a level three at least, or four. We'll put it in Boston. So here we have another combat fleet, which I do enjoy. And uh, we are increasing some things up to 14 now. So we'll go over to Home Squadron, put two more frigates there. And then the Baltimore Squadron, two more there. Okay. All right, we're in March. We're in March and I'm getting frustrated. Ah, guys coming back. So, the Hampton Division and uh, the Army of Shenandoah, not that large. You're not ready. So I would like the Army of Vermont to move. It take a little bit of time to hear the, the command. They're still moving slow in winter. Breadbasket policy is enacted. It is a siege. I get that it's a siege. But my goodness, it's taking forever. Um, I do think that we're going to need to have some government funding uh, of two here. Um, we're going to have to have that happening. Kind of is what that is. Um, yeah, we'll do the trade deals. That's fine. Doing. Oh, policies are already enacted. Okay. This was economy. Okay, we, we do actually need economy to get that credit rating. The policy we're doing for the economy here is, is going to be different, but we need to get that credit rating going. Officer rehabilitated. We have a billion dollar uh, debt. I'm kind of wondering if we want to get the Army of Maine involved in this. I don't think we need it. I think we want to just leave it where it is. But here we go. Yeah, I know we got slow movement everywhere. Hopefully this placement will be able to bring everyone in in reinforcement, and indeed we can. So we're going to begin the battle here at 35,000 men from the Army of New York, and then the Army of Vermont will come in in reinforcement later. I think we play this. The Battle of Winchester in Winchester, Virginia. Yet another Battle of Winchester. So pretty much everything that you just saw uh, was incorrect. <laughs> um, so we're we're going to figure that out. Um, the uh, I was expecting to be pretty much even numbers. Um, 
with my army, uh, Department of the East, uh, my army of New York uh, present, and then the army of Vermont uh, to be coming later, and then they were supposed to have two, uh, two corps present. But uh, they didn't. They only had one corps present. They only had about 18,000 men present, according to the thing, uh, at the start here. So my thought was, well, maybe I can quickly run down there, since I outnumber them two to one, and run them off the battlefield before any reinforcements come, and have it be good. Uh, it was still pretty early in the morning there, uh, about noon, so uh, we thought maybe it would work. So we're running through Winchester, and uh, we're going to try to attack, uh, assuming that they're, they're right there at the victory point. And so... We're going to go. We're going to try to attack them there. Um, and uh, that may be reckless. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, important to note that uh, one of the core that I have is in their first battle. The other two are divisions that I have. So yeah, they're, they're in their first battle. Um, but uh, here we go. So Johnston arrives right there. Uh, so now they're supposed to have their, their two core present. Uh, so I kind of try and check. It's a little bugged out here. Uh, but I try and check um, when mine will show up. And it's supposed to arrive in seven hours. Which means it would arrive at about 9 p.m. on day one. Uh, that's important to note here. <clears throat> so we're just going to try and surround this unit and try and uh, force them off as quick as we can. Hopefully before Johnston arrives. Eventually here I'll try and, and see when where Johnston was supposed to be arriving from. Now, I noticed they have that little bit off to the left, which is guarded by a single cavalry unit of 500 men. Um, but we're just trying to go here. We have one unit that moves up way quickly and uh, gets routed. Gee, thanks for that brigade. And so I decided, well, there's only one cavalry there. We're gonna push the division up on the flank of the main line and have one brigade take care of that one cavalry. Here we're also unlimbering the cannons and trying to get them to uh, to attack in and go. Keep in mind this is on 300 times speed for the lag <laughs> coming in uh, into the the graphics mode, um, but that does get fixed a little bit later on. So, but yeah, we're we're pushing in and trying to move as quick as we can and flank uh, multiple areas here. But again, we 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 continue to have this issue of one unit getting ahead of everything else. Um, here I also kind of note that that cavalry is off their horses, so it's basically not cavalry. Um, and I'm just going to try and force them off as quick as I can, get right up in their face, and try and melee what is essentially a 500-man infantry brigade at this point. Um, we'll see how that goes. But, uh, but yeah, we have this continual problem that one brigade is moving quicker than the rest of the division, and then uh, these guys are facing all the wrong way. It's, it's just a mess. Um, mess right here. But all those guys are engaged there. We finally have that, that flank turned, and uh, we do pretty well at this point in the army. Um, just have a lot of units that are, are shattering or, or threatening to shatter, which is not helpful uh, for this first day of battle. Um, but just trying to, to force things out and force them around. We've got them off their defenses, and we've got them flanked. It's just a matter of finishing the deal. But because Johnston has arrived, um, we are going to uh, to have to face him off. We can't force these guys off and then make that a retreat. Um, we will have to face them off. But if we can force these guys off, then we can kind of set up a defensive position against Johnston, who should be coming in from the south. That's the idea. It's also important that it's only March 23rd, so we're not going to be fighting until like 9 p.m. We'll be fighting until like 5 or 6 probably, maybe maybe to 7 um, at, at March. So, um, you know, uh, there will be an end of day a little bit quicker than, than past battles you've seen in this particular run. But we do pretty well here, uh, knocking whichever the division this was off. But you'll notice that that 500 cavalry broke, but also our giant brigade of infantry broke at the same time. Um, which frustrates me. Uh, but now they have only the cannons left, and I'm going to try to press in and, and capture those cannons. <clears throat> or at least uh, attack the cannons. And at this point... Um, one infantry comes running in. I don't know if that is from Johnston's brigade or not, uh, but there is a, a three-star that comes running in there. So 
uh, that is Johnston, the three star that came in. So I assume that is uh, a brigade from Johnston's army that's coming running in, trying to save the day, and we we uh, punish them appropriately. But this is a very bloody fight and a very uh, uh, intense fight on day one. Um, I think maybe if we capture some of these, we might have been able to force them off the field right here if we had captured a couple of those. Uh, but that doesn't happen. And the end of day is coming up very soon here, about 6 o'clock, and so we're just trying to begin to capture those cannons and then set up uh, along their own defensive perimeter um, for battle. And we're going to be hitting the end of day right now. Importantly, before those detachments can can uh, do things. So now we're slowing down to two. You'll notice that uh, there's a brigade that has withdrawn, but now another uh, unit has arrived, a third unit. Um, that was a little strange to me. Uh, I didn't notice the third unit uh, <laughs> uh, was there. But now the Army of the Potomac has arrived on the battlefield. And importantly, notice the Army of Vermont did not. Uh, they were supposed to arrive at 9 o'clock last night. They did not arrive overnight. Um, so that's you know important here. So here we're, we're just trying to move these units up to try and capture these uh, cannons as quick as we can. And uh, I'm going to have to do that a couple of times because I am foolishly trying to move whole divisions around and set things up. But basically we're, we're just going to try and set up using their defensive positions, which maybe wasn't smart. Uh, but just trying to use their own defensive positions against them and uh, you know try and, and get that to to work out set up that division the first division there we have a uh, second division uh, over here set the third division up on the on the flank we're just going to actually build a, a new breastwork up so that we have a, a better flank um, again um, this is trusting that they're going to be attacking straight up that the main road that they've set their defensive positions on, which um, maybe I should have done a better job of of trying to figure out, uh, well, what if they don't? But uh, you'll see how that works out here soon. So, uh, But at this point, we are outnumbered. Uh, until the Army of Vermont shows up, we are outnumbered, and, and significantly so. Um, but so far, we've we've done a good job of, of casualty ratio. Uh, I have no clue where their army is going to move. Um, we did get most of the routed units back. So here I am trying to set up a flank, which was good. Um, but yeah, we do get most of our routed units back um, here. Uh, that, that didn't get off the field. Most people didn't get off the field. But... Set up a parapet for our uh, artillery to be facing the what I anticipate to be the main line of battle, um, and uh, you know, call it good. Move the generals. Hopefully, I don't think I actually did, uh, but just trying to, to anticipate that they're going to come from where they retreated to. And now you'll notice that the Army of Vermont is arriving in 12 hours. So what was nine o'clock last night is now arriving at. Uh, would it be five o'clock, six o'clock, uh, seven o'clock on day two? So I don't know what happened here, but you'll notice that they actually came up on the road uh, to the west of that, uh, and so now we have uh, these two armies lining up on my left, way on my left, and I do not move to adjust to that uh, nearly quick enough because I keep expecting that there's going to be something on the right. So I should be moving that division. Uh, on the my left uh, entirely. Instead, I'm just moving the reserves um, over here, <laughs> trying to get get a flank started. Uh, and the cannons in those parapets aren't twisting, so they're not going to be much use here too quickly. But they are at least at the moment converging down on where my line is, so should be okay. And we're going to start the fighting on day two here. But now we're having to extend the line way up uh, to the left. And again, at this point, I'm extending the line out, anticipating I'm going to be able to turn that line. Uh, but you'll notice I am outnumbered by 13,000 men at this point. 
and I will be that way for another 11 hours, according to the the, the HQ report. So, um, you know, that's a thing and that matters. Um, but I'm just going to try and, and go here. I think that this is either Johnston's army or um, that first army that we faced here. And we do pretty well route this force that comes in. But uh, now you'll see that they're starting to extend the line beyond what I have over here. Now I'm I'm out uh, a little ways. Reminds me almost of the, the guy at Gettysburg uh, here. So I try and get them to move back. But I, I recognize there's no way they're going to be able to fall back uh, safely. Uh, I wish this game did not punish that as well. If, if we hit fall back, they should be able to fall back, even under fire, uh, easier than they do and better than they do. Almost always it routes. It, you know, it almost always routes when falling back under fire, and and that's... no. That that was something they could do in the Civil War. Uh, so we, we should be able to fall back. Now, retreat under fire, okay. Under massive fire, okay. You know, flanking fire, whatever, but, but they should be able to fall back better. But that's, you know, one complaint that I have here. But now I'm sitting here. We have an entire division that's not even in the fight. Uh, this one here, uh, the first division, not even in the fight. So now I'm trying to uh, move them up and get them into the fight. And just trying to uh, set that up and, and uh, have them kind of extend our line and maybe force, force the Confederate line to move over. Um, but they just keep keep flanking. They keep going up to my right, or my left, or whatever this is. It's turning into my right <laughs> as I've turned my line. Um, you know, they're all, way, all the way up in Winchester now. Um, so I'm just trying to keep a line moving and, and keep a little a little bit of a twist, but everything is engaged, so the, the, the fish hook doesn't matter because I've got no reserves to send around um, too well. But I think this is an okay defensive line. It's just that uh, I'm not in position. Uh, once I get in position, it should be an okay defensive line. I'm just outnumbered and, and not in great position, and things keep breaking really easily. feels like they're breaking really easily. Um, now, that might be a, a difficulty thing, but here we have another unit that comes out from the line. Like, this is not a 1st Division unit. I'm pretty sure this is a 2nd Division unit. Don't know why they decided to get off their defensive position and go charge into three or four enemy divisions, but they shatter. So I've lost another brigade there, uh, which was not good. But uh, we're holding for now. Well enough. I'm just trying to get the skirmisher off my flanking, off my flank here, uh, as they are uh, having that problem. And perhaps I could have used some skirmishers better to try and hold things in place and, and just hold out. But these are our battles where I try to learn from. You know, that, that's what we're doing here. We're trying to learn and uh, do better for next time. But yeah, so we're, we're trying to get the skirmisher unit, this detachment, off uh, off my flank, and I think it'll work uh, well enough there. But uh, yeah, we have this going. We still have a couple of units that are on the line right here that are not, uh, are on the fence right there, facing the wrong way. So we still have a couple of units that aren't engaged. Um, but we have what looks like the entire Army of the Potomac or something sitting up there. You know, hovering over our right, not currently doing anything. So I'm desperately trying to to turn things and, and be able to engage, you know, that division a little more fully, which I do. We're able to send the reserves uh, for that first division up to the to the right flank uh, pretty soon, uh, as people are are falling back, and eventually I will stop giving chase. But for now, I'm continuing to chase that up. But we got a couple of broken divisions that are trying to reform there in our back, right next to uh, to the general. Just trying to hold on, because uh, we've got another 10 hours before the Army of Vermont shows up. Really, it's going to be overnight, and we're just hoping 
that we can get to overnight and hoping that it actually works overnight. We basically, we're, we're engaging one army here on the line, and then we've got those two armies sitting back straight up there across the, the small valley. And, uh, you know, hoping they kind of stay there, I guess. But this is, you know, I'm not overly excited with how things are going here, and, and I'm uh, beginning to curse uh, the Army of Vermont <laughs> and f trying to figure out where they are. Um, I still don't quite know what happened there. I think that's just the game has some realistic simulation to it. Um, you know, where, where they're, they're trying to say, well, you know, scouting didn't, wasn't perfect in the time of the Civil War or, you know, whatever. Uh, might be the case there, which is true. But uh, can also be frustrating. So here I'm just going to try and turn the cannons to, to face everything. And I've got the, the capture cannons looking that way, too. Um, so just trying to, to work it out here. We have a, a, we're doing pretty good, like I said, against that unit. It's almost done here, but here comes the move. The other group is is uh, moving there, and something just arrived. I think that's an arrival. That might be the army of the Potomac arriving. That might just be Johnson's whole army up there. So, that may have been a uh, move around. I don't know. Not sure I check it, but yeah. So we've sent the reserve up there. We're just trying to, to hold that line here. One of the, the divisions over by uh, the general there in, in the back has reformed. I'll move them here soon. Um, but we're just trying to hold out. And that thing was flanked, or maybe under artillery fire, I don't know what that, that is, but I don't know why it was moved, but we try and move up here, get rid of this army so we can adjust things. And maybe if that had worked, things would have worked out, but uh, some things start to happen here pretty soon. And these guys are holding on, far more than mine hold on, feels like. Whatever that's worth. I think the Confederacy may have better training, which would matter in that. Now I'm just trying to move up to, to just force them back, but I think we get a little close to that army and we, we start bringing them in. And that could be a problem. Now this is about where I think I give up the chase and just say, hey, you need to, to get back in line. Yeah, so we're just going to get back in line. Try and get behind our, our thing again. Our fence line. Or really their fence line. Just try to hold against everything. Nine hours. Nine hours. But we still have a minor victory. So that's good. Except things are about to go crazy. So first off, we've got a couple of units now that are under fire. They shouldn't have been, but they are. And you'll notice way up there, I did notice this at the time, we start to have some melee combat happening uh, in the middle of our, our line, and uh, it broke. Uh, so that's a curse happening there. And uh, what is really cursing is this. A brigade has been captured. So now we're at 7,900. Uh, and at this point, uh, I recognize that they are charging in. We're not going to get to the Army of Vermont. There's no way we're going to get to the Army of Vermont. Um, and... Uh, I uh, I decide to retreat. But you'll notice there on the left side, or the bottom right, the timer has gone. So I click retreat, and we're paused. And I cannot unpause. Because there's no timer over there. It's bugged out. So I'm forced to, uh, eventually forced to reload, and I do have an autosave, but it's literally an autosave from like two seconds ago. So... Here we are, uh, reloading in, and uh, so yeah, they're already charging in, you can see there. So uh, I, I didn't wind up losing very much, uh, but I didn't like that bug happening. Uh, it's kind of one of those, like, really? That's that's happening too? But uh, I hit retreat, 
And uh, I will hit retreat here in a second. Maybe. Oh, I hit two times. Yeah, just so we can be quick about it. So we're not paused when I hit retreat in case that happens again. But we hit retreat, and I have an hour. But do my does my army start to move? No. No, they don't. They keep fighting, and they stand there. And they stand there, and they stand there, and they start losing more and more men. And they continue to not retreat, and they continue to not retreat. We're 20 minutes in, and half of them haven't even moved. Uh, and so this charge is coming in from the Confederates. And um, what we're going to see here is at the very tail end, uh, we, we've lost some more commanders, uh, some more commanders wounded in action. We have a lot of uh, this, you know, death happening here. Um, remember that at the capture of the last one, they were at 7,000 some odd casualties. And you'll see right there, seven minutes left, there is another complete surrender of a unit. Um, and I go to try and check that. Another wounded in action there in the last seven minutes. I don't know how to get them to move, but we wound up with 10,228 casualties, and about 5,000 of those in the last hour of the battle with 4,000 captured. So it's worth noting that I did have nearly two to one until those captures happened. Um, but uh, yeah, not uh, the best battle and not my favorite, but we... Uh, We'll, we'll rebound. We're the Union. We got the manpower, and uh, we'll make it work. But uh, here I'm going to be uh, complaining for a little bit, and uh, you can see uh, that I'm not 100% accurate on what I remember. I have no idea what happened here. Because... If I'm remembering correctly, the beginning day, like the first day, it said the Army of Vermont was going to be there and then they got two reinforcements somewhere along the line and the army of vermont which was supposed to arrive overnight the first night wound up where it was going to arrive overnight the second night and just i don't know what happened there but i'm really frustrated at this that one of these was captured after they were done very very frustrated an army of the Potomac that didn't even show up in the thing comes in. But, uh, whatever. Uh, we're gonna let this go long enough for them to do their retreat motion. retreating. It would appear that that is all they are retreating. That is not all they should retreat. No, 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 no. No. There are times I seriously wonder. Seriously, seriously wonder. Um... I'm gonna leave the Department of Pennsylvania where it is for now. We're going to build up the entire Army of the East to go down there. There are actually more men here than I expected there to be. But if I can recruit, I can recruit some more. helpful. Okay. Good enough there. I 
do have some more I can do in Pennsylvania. Which I would enjoy. Then get the four, and we can have two equal sized divisions. certain we'll be able to get that, but hopefully. Rhode Island. Pennsylvania doesn't have enough anymore. Maryland does. I don't want to be recruiting 3,000. That was part of the problem. Was a three thousand. I didn't want that. Um, okay. I think we might recruit that one in the Rhode Island. Why not? Just for fun. All right. Really, kind of wanted to see the siege end here, but. is what it is. We're all in winter quarters. We're all unstable. We're all confident still. I don't know. Give it till the end of, end of the month. And then we'll end this very long episode. We've actually gone a half hour over in real life time. April 1st, we're still going, and that's still going down. Uh, 18,000 more men have been recruited to their forces. But we've gone up to B+. Plus. But yeah, that, that was not a good ending. We'll put it that way. This war is getting to be a lot longer than I had anticipated right now. Or at least it's looking that way, but... Very soon, we'll get this up and running, and then uh, we'll be in business, and we'll just put the pressure on uh, Eastern Virginia, capture all this back, swing in over here, kind of cut off Winchester, put Pennsylvania around here. We'll be aggressive as we head into April. That is certainly my plan. Certainly my plan. Bring these guys down. And uh, the other one was the Army of Ohio. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and bring the Department of Ohio down as well. Oh, the Army of Ohio doesn't have... Yes, they do. They do. Okay. So we will begin all of that. As April 1st is the end of winter. can, we'll, uh, bring these guys through there. Alright. The Army of Oklahoma can, uh, go to Cairo.
I wonder how long this would take. 80 hours to get any kind of order. So we're not going to worry about that. We're going to uh, give them their orders. <laughs> Together. And uh, we will definitely end that there. So I'll see you next time for a longer war than I thought.